G'day folks. Ah, nice little Friday update. We ain't got much uh, to do outside since it's wet as hell. I was hoping to do the uh, big UPS autopsy this weekend, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, yeah, instead just going to be working inside, probably tidying some stuff up, throwing some stuff out, and just working out a course of action for the uh, shredder project. I've been cutting more steel today and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute. I've also been shopping, uh, thinking about a new TV to use as a computer monitor. I want to get a sharp 46 inch, 200 hertz panel, uh, LED, LCD. Uh, they're currently about $1,200, which is a bit of money to shell out, but my sister's been nagging me for a uh, good LCD to play her Xbox on, because right now she's got one not much bigger than this, te this monitor. And I did say I'd find her a good LCD about a year ago, so I kind of owe it to her. Um, yeah, so I'm half thinking of giving her my old um, Proton LCD, which is a nice 40 inch. It's a 20. It's only a 24 millisecond panel, so it's not very good for gaming, but it's a great TV because it's got picture in picture, four way picture in picture. Um, various features that a lot of new TVs don't even have, like a lot of the cheap ones don't have. It was a fairly expensive set in its day with a nice Taiwanese panel, really high grade componentry. Um, yeah, it's a nice set so I'd be glad to clean it up and give it to her as a uh, Christmas birthday present. But first I'm trying to find another set, which is not what I'm shopping for right now, but I'm looking at local uh, Retrovision that's going to give me the old uh, TVs that they pick up on just changeover jobs, replacement jobs. Uh, they've got one in store, 46 inch full HD, th active 3D LED LCD panel for 1200 and I'm welcome to come and test it out, plug an Xbox or something into it and see what it looks like but it's one of the best they've got in that size range and Sharp seems to have a very good reliability rating and quality rating at the moment so yeah, we'll see how the uh, Christmas bonus and everything goes, or whatever, whatever I get from work, and whatever I earn selling and repairing stuff in the meantime, it's just going to be one of those things. But yeah, I've been itching to get a new TV for a while anyway. Cars and things can wait, I've just paid Rego on the Ford, so that's done. Uh, but other than that, I ain't got much else to worry about apart from bills. So yeah, anyway. The reason I'm on the laboratory supply site is because I've got some stainless steel chain that I want to clean up for another job. But I was looking for nitric acid to uh, just dunk it in, just let it sit in a tub of 10% nitric. But unfortunately, I'll probably have to visit a local chemist or something because they've got it here, but it's $180 for two and a half litres of 70%. That's crazy. I don't need 70%. I don't need two and a half litres of it. So, yeah, I'm trying to find it on a few different places. See, that's a US site, $34.95. And how much is there? The price is on yeah, $47.50. That's heaps cheaper. That's crazy. This Australian site, Easy Lab, looks ridiculously expensive. But, yeah, I'm not going to buy anything from them apart from maybe some uh, measure, measuring cylinders and other things which are good for measuring solvents and oils and things like that. Uh, that's one thing I'll give them. Same with beakers. Beakers are always handy. But that's about it. I don't really do any chemistry. I'm not even allowed to do the kind of chemistry that I want to do. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I went to chemicals and made an uh, order up of nitric acid, sulfuric acid and a bottle of glycerine. I wonder how many eyebrows that one would range, um, raise. <laughs> In case you haven't realised that that's what you need to make nitroglycerine. You didn't hear that from me, you heard that from Alfred Nobel. <laughs> Good old Alfred Nobel, inventor of dynamite, which is basically nitroglycerine soaked into, I think it was guar gum or wood dust or something like that. There's a few different formulations. But yeah, even acetone, half a litre of acetone for 30 bucks, it's a bit pricey. Aluminum powder, half a kilo for $225. I guess it keeps the mad scientist types at bay, or at least the kids that like to blow shit up. Yeah, haven't had any problems with that in Australia. Kids can run around blowing stuff up, which is good. But I guess that's the only reason a site like this can exist in Australia, because you pretty much can't buy anything else that's fun. So yeah, I'm going to either buy a bottle of pickling gel and just saturate the chain in that, 
because it is all stainless steel. It's just horribly corroded and tea stained from uh, chlorinated water. But yeah, if you are interested in having a look, it's uh, it? easylab.com.au. Probably better off just buying um, things like beakers and stands and things from them. They seem to be fairly well priced, but the chemicals themselves, fairly expensive. And if it's a chemical to transport, they've got another $25 delivery fee because it's hazardous. So yeah, maybe not. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the other stuff we got. Okay, what else do we have? I've been shopping. I've got bearing for that rusty old bearing unit. That was an underwater stainless steel and plastic bush bearing. But that's completely had it, so instead of turfing the whole thing in the bin, I figured I'd keep the uh, housing, the races, stuffed. But one of these was like 15 bucks, so I can use that. It's going to be part of an upcoming job. New rivets set. I was looking for one last night and nothing. I think Dad used the last of my rivets. Flex hose for the grease gun. They didn't have them in stock at the time, but they came in, so that's done. That'll fit me in the grease gun quite nicely. Um, that's the chain that I want to pickle and clean up, so I'm thinking uh, I'll see the local chemist and see if they have any kind of nitric acid, but I doubt a uh, pharmaceutical chemist would have any use for uh, reagents like that. Um, otherwise I might just take it to work and use a bit of the pickling gel there, I might as well. It's not even going to take that much, I'll just stick it in an ice cream tub and pour a little bit onto it and get the paintbrush into it. I just want to clean it up really. It's not too badly pitted, there are some pits in the links but I've seen some of these come out of jobs where the links are broken in half. Like The, the corrosive environment of the swimming pool has just completely eaten them. It's just nasty. But these ones aren't too badly pitted. Again, it's not a really high torque chain. It's a Subaki uh, was it 60 SS stainless steel. So it's not really that high tensile. It's soft metal. But it still does pretty well. I want to make a little tow dolly out of it. A couple of old car wheels and a solid axle. Uh, I've got the sprocket for the other end. There's a 9 tooth sprocket there out of one of the dead motor boxes. And I think that's a 27, an old style 27 tooth. I just got to get the damn thing off. The umpy bosses are seized or expanded inside the tube, so I have to end up cutting the end off, trying to re-salvage six metre length of this uh, stain stainless steel tubing. But I'm going to cut it all the way through with a grinder and just peel it all off. I don't, e don't even want the shaft because it's got plates welded at intermediate points, including on the end. I think there's one, one there, one there, and one there because there's bolts going through the face of that boss. So I'll keep the uh, sprocket and the UHMW, but that's about it. Not really much point in anything else, and it's only steel scrap otherwise. Too much plastic to be classed as stainless scrap. Um, yeah. Rather unhappy uh, chop saw from work, but it does some work again. But yeah, it was taking out circuit breakers and making horrible noises, so... I fixed up the loose bits and things like that, but yeah, we'll see how long it lasts. It's an expensive one, proper Bosch metal cutting chop saw. Uh, yeah, what else? Little Daewoo needs to go. I've decided I'm not going to put it back on road again. It is not worth it. Uh, smoker's car. The interior is a lot worse than I thought. The whole headline is yellow with smoke residue, like that kind of nasty. Um, Engine blows smoke at startup, so the valve stem seals are cooked and gone. Temperature um, thermofan switch has definitely failed, so it's been running without any kind of fans. Um, yeah, it's just generally unhappy. It's running a lot better than when I got it, but it doesn't run good enough to warrant fixing it, especially not when it's blowing smoke on startup. And have to take the head off and get it redone. Not worth it for a car like that, especially not in Victoria. If I could just throw it back on the road with a basic tag for like 200 bucks, yeah. But I'm not spending a thousand bucks plus all the repairs just to get it back on road. Essentially it's turning it into a two and a half thousand dollar car when you could buy one that's already on the road with Red Joe and Roadworthy for the same price. Which is a bit sad, but that's just how Australia, or at least Victoria, works. If I was in South Australia, yeah, I could do it without even having it inspected. But this ain't South Australia and I'm not driving over there and registering it in a state that I don't even live in. But yeah, little green pod car, 
needs to uh, either find a good paddock to live in at someone else's place or be dismantled which is good there's a lot of good parts the front bumpers and everything's mint condition like there's so much good stuff on it all the glass is good there's probably about two or three hundred bucks worth of glass now uh, the front bumpers and things which are routinely broken in little fender benders and sell them on eBay for like 40 bucks each don't know I can't be bothered with eBay though that's the worst thing I just not too many time wasters too much trouble so yeah you won't see me eBaying stuff anytime soon but I just like to get rid of the car as a whole if not I might see what the record it would give me for it but generally I think he's got half a dozen or more at the moment anyway they're just such a common thing to get thrown out oh well disposable stuff anyway that's enough rambling for tonight I'm not going to be doing much been working all day and pretty exhausted so thanks for watching and stay tuned for something on Saturday particularly if it's not too wet